Yo, hello, hello, welcome to the elephant in the room. My name is Aaron and in today's video I'm going to talk about Friendica, which is a trade-free social network. So maybe you've watched the documentary The Social Dilemma and if you haven't yet then I would still recommend it to you even though I am criticizing the documentary because it misses some very important points. Like of course they showcase very well how fucked up those platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and so on are and what their negative consequences are but what they miss is the point of why are those companies um, or platforms doing these shitty things like why do they want as much data and attention as possible from you or from the user and that's because of they have an incentive because our trade-based society incentivizes companies to put profit above anything else and that's what pushes those companies to yeah get you hooked to the platform to promote any kind of bullshit to show you ads to track you um, because that means more profit for them more revenue for them and the second point which really bothered me was that they didn't even mention or talk about alternatives like mastodon like friendica like diaspora or so many other trade free social networks and it's just a shame because there are volunteers working for those social networks and um, programming it, developing these awesome tools, but the documentary didn't even mention them or showcase them. So that's why we have the Trade Free Directory, because we are promoting such um, examples, such trade free alternatives. And let's um, check it out now. Let's search for some social networks. So and when we search for a social network we get different results like um, one example is WT Social which is this one. I think it is created um, by Jimmy Wales which is the co-founder of Wikipedia. Um, but as you can see here it has not that good of a rating so um, it might be not entirely trade free. There are better alternatives like Mastodon or Diaspora or Scuttlebutt or also Friendica and I want to talk about um, Friendica now and basically what you can see here there is also Friendica.social but this is um, the list of instances but I will talk about that in a second. So let's just open the website of Friendica, we can close this one here and um, here we can see a description of the network, um, basically its features and everything you can do basically. It's just like any other social network where you can create posts, you can share photos, you can create events and um, yeah, have a public profile and all that. Um, some of its key features are um, that it's decentralized and that means that it is different like Facebook because in Facebook, Facebook the company has control over it. You join their servers and they have access to your profile, they can collect data about you but in Friendica it is um, different, you can take the source code, you can host it on your own server, create an own instance, that's how it's called and then um, you can communicate with other instances and that makes it decentralized. So you see there's no um, one single entity controlling it but there are more um, different communities, different villages if you will um, and they can communicate with each other and that's how the internet was supposed to be actually. It is a shame that all those uh, monopolies in the game of trade like Google and Facebook took over control and have now control over billions of people worldwide. Um, then another key feature is privacy. So it's unlike Facebook where Facebook collects everything you do and all your information um, in Friendica you don't have that because you know there's no incentive in Friendica it doesn't want anything from you it doesn't want your attention it doesn't want your data because it doesn't make money it doesn't engage in those trades because it has no business model so that's what it makes private of course you need to provide some information like a name an email address and all that but I mean actually that's the point of a social network right 
and then you can also of course take a fake name or so um, so yeah and the uh, other key feature is interoperability basically there is this super amazing protocol called activity pub which allows um, Friendica to communicate with other social networks like Funkwhale, Hubzilla, Mastodon, Pleroma and so on. And that is super cool because if I now have my um, Friendica account and I want to follow a Mastodon account, I can just simply do so because of that protocol. And actually I can show you that if we go on Fediverse Party, that here you can see all the Fediverse. So these are all social networks um, and they are able to communicate with each other. So basically I can follow from my Friendica an account, a PeerTube account and a Mastodon account can follow me on Friendica and that's just so fucking cool. Like I just love that thing. Because of course I'm also following different and several uh, Mastodon accounts and so on. If we scroll down, uh, we can see here the list of public servers and basically that's now also the trade free directory entry um, which also leads us to the uh, servers list. And we can um, filter those servers by uh, language. So if we just select English now, you can see here different um, instances of Friendica and also their health score um, basically yeah i don't know exactly what it shows probably how well it is maintained um, so of course i would recommend you some instances from the top because um, yeah i guess they are just better maintained um, i personally joined venera.social i don't know why it has 95 percent of that health score but like it is managed by one of the developer of Friendica. So I guess um, I don't have to worry about that he's um, taking care of it. And um, yeah, I want to show it to you now. So if you just click, you can also of course join other instances. Maybe there are um, different instances for different kinds of interests or hobbies or um, yeah, stuff like that, different topics and um, yeah that's how it looks like so um, i think it is super minimalistic and super um, light also i mean i can also just close those ones so yeah i think you can see it just looks clean and also super cool basically uh, well i can show you if you want to uh, join a friendica account and you choose this instance for example then all what you do is you click on register and then you will have to fill in some details like your name and email address and then click on register and then from what i remember is you will get an email where your password will be sent and um, after that you can just change the password if you go on um, can show it to you here on settings and then password settings and you just create a new password but yeah before I show you the settings I want to show you the conversations from your friends so basically these are the um, different accounts that I'm following different people that I'm following and what they are posting and um, yeah I can of course then comment those posts like in any other social network of course and then here are my posts and my conversations. So basically um, that's what I'm posting and what I'm sharing and um, yeah, basically my profile. But let's keep uh, continuing here. Here are the conversations of um, this server and other servers. So basically just what people are talking about um, on other servers, what their thoughts are, their posts and so on. Um, there's also the local community, so just about this server here. Here are the direct messages, like if you communicate with someone directly. And then you can of course also communicate with someone from Mastodon, from a Mastodon instance, and chat with them of course. Here are events. Um, haven't checked out this feature yet, but I guess you can just create events and then 
um, yeah, invite people to those and here are uh, my contacts basically the people I'm following and here are notifications like um, whenever someone mentions you or posts um, to you something or so so yeah that's um, the main menu here kind of so now I want to show you how you can follow different organizations or people from other Fediverse accounts like Mastodon for example or also how you can subscribe to a website via RSS feed. So if you want to follow the Mastodon account of the Tor project for example, um, I can just go on their website torproject.org and I can scroll to the bottom where their Mastodon account is linked to. So as you can see it looks like this and now there is this little address so saying at Tor project at mastodon.social and now I can just um, paste that here in the search bar I can search for it and then I can follow that account so um, whenever they post something on Mastodon I can also see that on my Friendica feed and then here I can contact them directly send a message um, and if I go on contact settings I also have some um, features, for example, I can natively reshare what they are posting. Um, so that can also be useful, cool kind of thing. And um, yeah, so that's how it looks like. And then what I also wanted to show you is that you can see their profile if you just go here on status and there you can see what they are sharing and posting. Um, so, um, but yeah, now you will get it directly into your feed. And now if we want to add an RSS feed, we can just go um, on, yeah, let's take the tray free directory and the RSS feed from um, software and hardware, for example. So we can just um, paste it here again and it will search for the feed and now we can just um, click here on follow and then we get also um, notifications whenever there is something added to the software and hardware category so now we are following that account and we can also set here um, how often it should be checked like um, for updates and we can also go on to contact settings and we can fetch further information for feeds so uh, we can fetch information, keywords or both. Um, and another cool thing which might be useful for you um, is that you can mirror those posts as either forwarded or as my own posts. And that can be useful for um, like if you have an organization um, and then you want to um, post such things from a directory or so automatically. Actually, I can show it to you. That's what we did with our Trom page. So, um, as you can see, I just click on accounts and then I can switch between my accounts. I created the Trom project page in German and I subscribed to the RSS feed called social.tromsite.de because we created that page and we are automatically posting memes like twice a day and then we subscribed via RSS feed to that website and now automatically those posts are going here and I don't have to worry about anything I don't have to do anything so that's just super super cool and I love that feature about um, Friendica that you can subscribe to RSS feeds and um, yeah I'm basically just managing this um, page as well so yeah, as you can see, that's how the Trom project page looks like um, in German. And um, in our profile, we also have the home page, some tags, um, some links and all that. And as you can see, I made the, um, this kind of menu bar um, in green. Of course, you can change those things as well. Let's go back to my account. I can show that to you. If you just go on settings and then you go on to display, you can um, change the navigation bar background color here. Let's just copy that and let's say red for example. Let's take this one 
Um, <laughs> also looks kind of uh, cool, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show it to you. I keep it um, more dark or more black. And um, yeah, so we are here in the settings. As you can see, you have um, control over basically everything that you want um, to control. Like in the basic settings, you can change your time zone and your language. Then in the security and privacy settings, you can hide your profile details from anonymous viewers, for example, or you can also make public posts unlisted, or you can make all posted pictures accessible and allow your friends to post to your profile page directly and all those things so you can just um, explore them by yourself and um, yeah i think i won't go through all of those maybe something which is super cool is um, that you can export your account and that's the beauty of it i mean you can export your account if you want to move to another instance and then import all your information there. It's like Friendica doesn't have an incentive to keep you on that platform. Because like Facebook is like we want to keep you here, we want to keep you trapped. We are going to feed you with any kind of bullshit just to keep you on Facebook, on our platform. But with Friendica it's like you don't like this instance, oh just move to another instance. Or you don't like Friendica at all, oh just go to Mastodon. But you can still communicate with people from Friendica. And that's the beauty of it, you choose, you have the freedom to decide what you want, where you want to be, in what kind of instance you want to spend time with. And I just love that thing. Like Friendica doesn't have that incentive um, to keep you on their platform. It's just like, it's up to you. If you want to use it, you can use it. But if you don't want to, no problem. You can do something else, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, these are the settings. And now I just want to show you my profile. Like as you can see here, um, you also have a, a kind of navigation bar or menu kind of. So um, same like here, that's my profile. I have my homepage here, some tags, some projects of ours um, and a short description here. And as you can see, you can um, see my contacts here. Then on the status page, there's everything that I'm sharing. I'm sharing stuff in English and in German um, and also posting in English and German. So, um, yeah, I don't know, I just yeah, want to share in both languages. Here are some photos that I shared. I don't have any videos yet. Here is the events page again, same with here. Um, personal notes, I never checked that out. Maybe that's also a cool thing. And then my contacts again. And here you also have that menu, contacts, messages, notifications, accounts, and settings here. So um, yeah, I think that's the cool overview over um, Friendica. I think it is just such a cool social network. I just love it. And I am sure that I don't get um, like fucked over by Friendica. Because as you can see, there are no trackers on the platform. And I think, yeah, the links that are here are just probably from people I'm following or from Mastodon. So there are no ads, no um, trackers, no bullshit. And that's, it is pure, it is clean. And that's what I love. And as you can see here, um, now these are the posts from the software and hardware category of the trade free directory. And um, yeah, so you can, you decide what information do you want to get out of the internet. You can also follow RSS feeds from um, blogs or from um, newspapers or so. And that's, I think it just gives you the freedom of, um, you have control over that social network and that's how it should be. So now I just want to also, um, show you an article wrote by Tio. Uh, it's kind of, he, he wrote two articles about it. There is the beginner's guide to Friendica, which can be also super useful for the beginner, like if you have never spent time on their platform. 
he is also explaining how you can even follow uh, Twitter accounts. And I mean, what the fuck? You can even follow Twitter accounts on Friendica. I mean, that just gives you also the freedom. Like if you have some people that you really want to follow and they are only on Twitter, you can also do so. And even um, Facebook pages, like you can create an RSS feed with an RSS bridge and then can also follow people or organizations from Facebook. So I think that's just such a cool thing. Um, you can go through the beginner's guide, I totally recommend that. And then the other article was about um, yeah, the Fediverse in general and also about how Tio is managing the Trump page in um, Friendica. Like, it is a super long um, article, but I also can totally recommend it. And it also compares um, between um, Facebook, that's how the Trump page looks in Facebook, and that's how it looks on Friendica. And I think Friendica is just way cooler than um, Facebook. And looks way cleaner and also more minimalistic, kind of. So, yeah. And then there's also the... Uh, craziness of how um, Tio is um, like automatically posting stuff like the daily memes from social.tromsite.com go automatically to Friendica and then from Friendica um, they will be posted automatically to Facebook and um, Twitter so um, yeah Tio <laughs> created something unique here um, so it is really interesting and you can check it out and yeah, I think that was it. Um, basically, I think you got an overview over the trade-free social network Friendica. You can check it out. You can just register on any kind of instance that you want. You can also host it by yourself. I think if I go on Friendica, then you can also see somewhere the source code. As you can see, it is free software and here's even an installation guide. So um, it's your choice, you have the freedom. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can just let me know in the comments or also write me here on Friendica or so. And then see you on Friendica. <laughs> you can also just follow me if you just um, search for at Aaron and then at venera.social and you can um, find me. So yeah, I hope it was interesting. Maybe you learned a thing or two. Before I forget it, there is also an app for the phone. So you can install FediLab, it's called, um, but I will also link to it in the description. So you can also use Friendica on your phone. So the next video will be about Video Need, which is this awesome website where you can watch documentaries, trade free, and um, I look forward to the next video already. As always, I'm just gonna say, take care, see you in the next video and much love.